The work of a business journalist often requires number crunching and analysis. But the best business journalists often look beyond the figures to see what these numbers mean for society. That's exactly what 26-year-old Joyce Wee from the Business Times does. And for that, she was named Young Journalist of the Year at the English and Malay Newspaper Division Awards given out by the media conglomerate Singapore Press Holdings. I think you think about the people instead of the numbers because the numbers on their own don't do anything. It's how the numbers affect people. You know, people lose their jobs, people uh, you know, are in lawsuits and suffer tremendous stress. So I think if you think about why the people matter, then the story becomes interesting to other people. Her feature story, Singapore Sits Moodily Atop Wealth Pole, was also nominated for Feature of the Year. Her story showed that half of Singapore's adult population are among the wealthiest people in the world. Yet, despite their wealth, they are an increasingly moody and dissatisfied lot. Singapore really is in the 1%, you know, in the global population. And people don't think about that enough. You know, we always think we're the 99%. We don't have a house on Sentosa Cove. Don't have Maseratis. We feel so poor. But we don't, a lot of us in this country don't understand what poor is. And it's a very unpopular stand to take. But it was something that had to be said that your life might not be great, but it's not awful. Joyce, who graduated from Singapore Management University with a double degree in business and economics in 2008, has already garnered other awards for her work, including the Security Investors Association of Singapore Promising Journalist of the Year. I think the biggest challenge is that you know, you're know you in a constant state of tension when you're a journalist. Everyone wants you to do something and that something always conflicts with every, everyone else's desires. So you've got a newsmaker who wants to tell his side of the story and it's not entirely factual. You've got the PR people who have their own agenda and you've got your readers as well who have an idea of what they want to read so amidst all that you kind of have to find a happy middle ground um, to satisfy yourself that you've done a good job at the end of the day she finds her job rewarding but admits there have been many tough days when you're, you're up at six in the morning or even you know opposite end of island you're closer to malaysia than to orchard road you know things like that you go well, i'm not quite sure what this is for um, but in the grand scheme of things especially if you're starting out it's really just about paying your dues. You're doing these more mundane stories so that you pick up the essential skills that help you do better stories. And if you don't get the basics right, however and glamorous, then you don't get to do the other more fun stuff. To find out who won the Journalist of the Year award, check out our other clip.